What's up guys, Mike here. So are you doing decent straight jumps but find that they don't challenge you as much as they used to? Do you want to do kite loops but you're afraid of the big crashes? Well maybe it's time you start sending it. I want to give you one massive tip that's going to help you get ready for big kite loops. And it's called a scent jump. With a big scent jump, you're jumping high, steering the kite into the window, getting propelled downwind, swinging under the kite, and saving ourselves with a heli loop. With a kite loop, we're jumping high, steering the kite into the window, getting propelled downwind, falling under the kite, and saving ourselves from certain death with a heli loop you can actually generate close to the same amount of pull with the big scent jump without taking on as much risk. So the cool thing about a scent jump is you can get used to the feeling and process of doing a kite loop without having to take as much risk. With a kite loop, you don't have that much control over how much time your kite spends in the power zone, at least when you're starting out. But with these scent jumps, you can control and meter how much you want to send your kite into the power zone and how much power you will generate, which makes it a nice stepping stone to getting ready for those big kite loops. I'm a big advocate for breaking down these big problems such as big kite loops into many smaller steps. And I can tell you with confidence that many of my students have bridged the gap between big jumps and big kite loops by learning to send their kite. If you can send your kite super hard from a big height have a good free fall and come in with a nice smooth heli loop and you are definitely ready for those big kite loops. So get out there and work on those scent jumps. So how do you do it? You need to make sure you do a vertical takeoff where you're not going downwind in the takeoff. As you approach the top of the jump, steer hard with the front hand. The sooner you steer it in the jump, the more your kite is still lifting, so the more the kite will pull you when it goes down into the power zone. The harder you steer it, the faster the kite will travel, creating more airflow over the kite and causing it to lift more. In other words, pull you harder. So the kite pulls in the direction you're steering it, which in this case is straight downwind. Make sure you sheet out during the free fall, taking tension off the back lines and then allowing the kite to come back up to catch you. If you're jumping left, be sure to leave the kite on your left when you swing under so that you can loop perfectly around your head with the right-handed heli loop. And if you're jumping right, be sure to leave the kite on your right when you swing under so that you can loop with your left hand. I've covered this in my Mastering the Heli Loops video, for those of you who haven't seen it. As you get more and more confident with your sends, experiment with sending it harder and leaving it in the power zone for longer. Enjoy the thrill of the speed and the distance you cover with the big scent jump. Honestly, once you're doing really sick big scent jumps, normal jumps start to feel kind of boring. I've recently been coaching my fiance to do her first big kite loops. But before she could pull the loops, I wanted her to be doing 10 big scent jumps in a row and landing smoothly with a really nice heli loop. Send it. Bring it back. Nice. So I've got a challenge for you guys. I want you to go out there and send 10 massive jumps, big powerful sends with a big free fall and a smooth landing. And if you can land 10 in a row, then you are for sure ready for your first big kite loops. You can also use scent jumps to train kite loop variations such as boogie loops. Kite loop board offs. And more. I have made a PDF guide on how to send it and it's available at my website. 
So if you guys want to get that PDF guide, you'll find it in the link down below. It's super cool because you can take this guide to the beach and it includes all the information in this video and a little bit extra to help you get ready for those big kite loops. Yeah. So guys, writer of the episode goes to none other than my cameraman and brother from another mother, Michał Jagniatkowski, the Polish brother who is jumping super high these days. He's recently joined the 30 meter club and he wins the sweet bundle from Big Air Kite. Thank you for all the amazing work you do, brother, and congrats on the insane progression. Meow. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to give that thumbs up button a click. And if you want me to help you in your kite surfing journey and help you progress, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Muchos besos. Adios.